it's, it's amazing what the classes the interest in the iron and it's made me it's given me the opportunity to research more and to look into the background more because of course you ask questions about things and for most of my life I've been planning on buying uh, riders to the sea I thought I must get that play or whatever it is because I need to look into it and I was moving some books one night and there it was all along um, a really old edition of it on the shelf and it's a little short play by John Milton Singh and what's really really beautiful is Singh was out on the Iron Islands because Yeats told him to get the heck out of Paris because he wasn't going to learn anything in Paris and go and write about these amazing people and live closely with them. And that's what he did. And in fact, he took photographs, which are in uh, Trinity College, have, have the photographs somewhere. But in Writers to the Sea, two sisters are discussing the brother lost at sea, or the brother missing, I should say. And someone brings a shirt to the house or a piece of clothing, a piece of flannel. And the two sisters called Kathleen and Nora. Um, one of them says to the other, I'm thinking Bartley put it on him in the morning for his own shirt was heavy with the salt in it, pointing to the corner because his shirt's in the corner, but she's thinking this other one is like what he put on him. There's a, there's a bit of the sleeve was of the same stuff. Give me that and it'll do. Nora brings her over a piece of the flannel to so compare the two flannels. And Kathleen said, it's the same stuff, Nora, but if it's itself, isn't there great rolls of it in shops in Galway? And isn't it many another man would have a shirt of it as well as Michael himself? So Kathleen's saying, oh, get over yourself. It's as common as anything, this flannel. Don't be worrying. And Nora took up a stocking and counted the stitches crying out. And she's like, uh, it's Michael, Kathleen, it's Michael. God spare his soul. And what will herself say when she hears this story? And Bartley out on the sea. So... Kathleen takes the stocking from her and says, it's a plain stocking. And Nora says this line, which is written by Singh, who is a young man in his 20s, or I think then. And I think this is just a beautiful line. It's the second one of the third pair I knitted and I put up three score stitches and I dropped four of them. Very technical, which knitting is. Not appreciated for its technicalities always. But from that line has come all this wonderful myth about recognition of the brother. It was a stocking at the time. And the recognition wasn't so much the, the semblance of the pattern. It was the knitter's recognition of her own work. And that is actually a very interesting and remarkable thing. Because we made 50 different hand knits for Japan in 2014 for Isatown Michikoshi, and everyone by a different knitter. And I designed the three, you could call them layouts or blueprints. And on each one, it was like a test. Then I would go, well, that was so-and-so, or that was so-and-so, because even though it was the identical design, there are uh, little um, things in the technique, little signs of the knitter, exactly like handwriting. Two people type a piece uh, just as you want it, it's going to look the same. There's no sign of the person who, who typed that up. Um, two people hand knit a thing, there are these little signs of the maker.